Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to show you a couple different ways to launch in a glider in Flight Sim. Now this was kind of a cool little question that somebody was asking the other day. I'm like, wait a minute, there's no button for that. You have to do something to get launched. So I thought I'd take a couple minutes to kind of show you the different methods. So first things first, we're going to grab the LS-818 here, a pretty solid little glider, a relatively straightforward. Confirm that our weight and balance is looking pretty good, and then we're going to pop over to the launch method. So we have two basic styles of launch here. Uh, the first method, of course, that we have is where they're basically going to run away. Uh, the other method, of course, is they have the method where they basically winch us in and then the final method is the more traditional well, let's ride behind a skyhawk kind of method all these methods are great now uh, the problem with the skyhawk method by the way is it's kind of slow going uh, they may usually use much higher performance aircraft for this purpose but it works so we're going to pick that one first so i'm going to go ahead and hit that and come down here and we'll hit fly ah here we are i'm ready to rock so first things first, uh, when we go to launch, by the way, this is a North Adams, this is up in Massachusetts, and I've been chased down by gliders, basically, in this in the real world. And I love this guy chilling with the baseball cap, because it's freezing outside. I would have worn something a little heavier, but I appreciate the fact that he's there. So now that we're here, um, we're going to go ahead and release the parking brake. No parking brake. Ha ha! But we have to signal the plane in front of us that it's time to go. Uh, the simple way to do that is you're going to take your handy-dandy rubber, rubber, rubber pedals. Well, I hope they're not rubber, and they should be a little stronger than that. Is you just kind of give them a little wiggle waggle like this. Now, if you watch, he's doing this crazy little thing with his hand, kind of giving us a heads up that he's uh, time to go. And what they're going to do is the airplane's going to give it full power. You're going to see that line get nice and tight. And off we go. So the first things first, though, when you get in tow like this, you got to remember that you have way more lift than they do. So uh, one of the things you notice is if I give the controls ever so slight tug here, again, it's just a little bit of back pressure. We're trying not to collide with the ground here. It's not going to take much to get us airborne here. And there it goes. So he's going to lift up, and we're just going to go ahead and stay just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit above his tail here. Uh, one of the things you got to remember is in these things, they're so tiny. There's like very, very little room for us to like look. So incredibly, I cannot position myself in such a way. There he is. Perfect. And now we have a visual on the particular aircraft itself. Now, for those of you who've been towed before, uh, this is pretty much normal going. Now you're just going to kind of chill here until you're ready to release. Now, depending on what glider you're flying, the release handle is uh, this one right here for us. You pop that, and then you go ahead and enjoy your glide. Now, what about the other methods? Well, our next method is going to be towing. Uh, this is kind of wild because they basically drive down really, really fast, and we run after them. Check it out. Now, if you take a look, our scenario is slightly different here. We have him kind of ready to go to wave at us. And if you look way, 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 way down here, you'll notice there's a truck waiting for us as well. So what he's going to do is he's got a giant winch, and he's going to suck the winch in to pull us up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll wiggle waggle the tail here. Give it a quick little thing. He's going to go ahead and do the little let's rock. Now, this is a slightly different launch. And uh, the reason it's slightly different is because, remember, we're getting sucked in by a cable. So as soon as we have enough energy to go airborne, uh, we want to go airborne. And we want to hold a pretty constant attitude here. Now, what makes this one a little bit safer than the aircraft uh, being basically towing us is we're not dealing with any drag from them. Uh, the only downside is the release point. Now, the way these are designed is they'll actually snap themselves auto position once you get to the point where you're ready to launch. See how it's tugging me down? That's it. And now we're on our way, just like that. So the final method is uh, very, very similar to that one as well. As you can see, it's exactly the same. So even when you select uh, different vehicles inside of this, it's not going to make that much different. You're either going to get dragged by another aircraft, or you're, of course, going to be winched. Now, one of the things I had found out when I was playing with this is if you have an exceptionally long runway that you're being released from, one of the neat things is that truck will actually drive down the runway and kind of get you airborne before it actually hits that normal launch point. When you have a very short runway like the one that we have right here, basically, uh, once you get to the end of that rope there and you go ahead and pull the handle, um, that's it. Uh, you're not going to get anything else. But other than that, enjoy. 